Hey guys, uh, my name is Pav, and this is some of my 3D work. Um, as you can see, um, I've done a few 3D um, stuff, some professional stuff. Um, did a presentation in London, uh, Brick Lane, with my university, and we all did really well. Um, I'm a student from University of Greenwich, just graduated and finished a degree in 3D digital design and animation. And I'm going to be teaching you guys some 3D stuff, uh, loads of stuff that I've learned over the three years as a 3D student. And also I'm going to be um, not just recapping my skills really as well, so I thought it would be a good idea to record everything. And uh, today um, we've looked at the interface so we can get clear that now take this now just move it down here what we're going to be looking at is today's tutorial is how to move rotate scale edit and modify things way so um hope you guys subscribe obviously <laughs> and um i have fixed the right click now right click works fine so that is great and um if I was saying before right click convert to an edit poly right here that's what I meant um, if any of you wondering what I was meant I'll show you everything that we need in a minute but first of all we're going to be looking at how to move rotate scale and edit and modify things so um, when you guys start off with your 3d max this is what you have uh, select this the move tool on the side here select um, create geometry and then select a simple box. Click inside this perspective box right here so you can select inside it's got this little yellow border which demonstrates you're inside of this thing. If you click on perspective hold ALT and W it will get it will um, maximize the screen. Now if you hold the middle mouse key you can move it. Okay the middle mouse key. If you hold the middle mouse key and click a uh, uh, not click but move the cursor in and out with the mouse key the middle mouse key okay um, it will zoom in and out and if you hold it if you press down and twist it you will twist the model so all you do is you just hold alt and that's how you control so if you don't hold any mouse key and you you use them um, if you don't hold any keyboard keys and you just zoom in, in and out you're moving in and out if you hold alt and zoom um, and then then uh, click inside you can twist so in and out and then if you just hold it you can move it okay so that's it pretty simple done now um, we're just gonna take this box okay and you can also click here on the perspective so you can go perspective mode go uh, to the left you know you can click inside and drag this box as well with the right mouse key how you want to how you want the model to be if you want to go to the top simply click on the top want to go to the edge click on the edge it's up to you but I'm just gonna go right here to the front and I'm just gonna draw a box now in this box I'm gonna click on the modify point and I'm gonna select I want this length to have two segments three segments but I can't see these segments in, in this box now to, to model things you need segments inside of this box so you can extrude things and stuff okay so what we'll do is we'll click on this um, perspective, sorry, on this move and highlights, and we click on hidden line. Okay, now this is not the best thing. So we just click on edged faces. Sorry about that, some idiot calling me. And if we just select edge faces down here, we'll be able to see everything that we're doing now. Now we can uh, give it, let's say, three points and just say we've got a box like this so now each face can be extruded edited and everything so if you're working with table you might want to I don't, I don't know just have the one but if you're doing let's say a box and you want to have different textures inside these little boxes then you might want to do this okay now once you do this um, let's just recap we're just looking at how to move rotate edit and scale so we've done a box so we put it in now we want to rotate it, so we click on this rotate button, click inside, and we're rotating the box. Okay, now we want to scale it, so we click inside and scale it like this. Now I'm holding Alt and I'm just moving around as you can see. 
Okay, so I'm just using the mouse key and Alt key. That's all I'm using. So I'm holding down Alt, pressing the mouse middle key, and I'm just pushing to the left. Now I'm pushing to the right. If I press um, the mouse key on its own without any keyboard and the middle mouse key and just move, then I'm moving the model. If I just click in and out, then I'm just zooming in and out. Simple as that. Okay. Um, let me just check my stopwatch. It's great. We still got some time. Okay. Now um, let's look how to modify this. So the modify option is right here. We will not be able to modify this model until we right click on it, click convert to an editable poly. Now to every model you're going to do, you either go for mesh or poly. In our case, we're going to go to poly because that's what we're going to be using most of the time. Once we click on this, we have a change on the parameters of this box. Basically, the properties have changed to editable poly and we can now edit each different segment. And if we select them, now we select faces, these are called faces. Okay, we can select vertices. Vertices is basically we can move it by points. Okay, uh, we can select the edges. So if we hold Control, we can select loads of edges at once, and then say we can use the move move um, select tool to move them up, move them down, and basically to shape it into what we want. Um, the border key basically selects borders. So um, I don't really use this much actually to be honest. I've never actually used it when I modeled it but um then I don't even know how to use it. I don't even use it much, so you won't even need it anyway. Um the polygon tool is basically selecting faces, so this is most commonly used. So if you select all these faces, move them down, select these faces, just holding control and select and move them up. Don't forget that you can always click on the rotate tool and rotate these as well. Okay? So we can just rotate these two if you want and then we can move them up okay now inside of this we can right click okay we can right click inside of this don't forget and we can click on um, such as bevel or we want to go extrude so we just right click and click on extrude and we can just extrude it up and now, we, now we're starting to model so you can do the same here right click and then click on extrude again and we're extruding so so we're just modeling some random crap. <laughs> it's a duck! Oh my god! That was proper um <laughs> accident all that was. And um yeah, so and then the last one is selecting the whole element. So you're moving a whole element. Okay? So this is this is the uh main edi edition of the actual put tool. Then we've got soft selection. Soft selection is very useful if you're selecting, let's say, vertices and you want to move certain vertices around. So let's just select the vertices right now of this model, okay? And let's say we select this vertex and we want to move it up and we want to move things around it as well. So we go down, click on new soft selection, and then we move this little curve up and down as how much we want to select around that area. So if we put it to, say, 20, okay, move up, we move in loads like that. If we put it up loads, then you can see the indication of this model by the color change. The the more the more the color effect, the more of the model is gonna affect. So right now we can move this much. If we move it up more, we're gonna move loads. This is really good if you're animating. You can also animate things like this. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool effect. Um we've got lock selection, paint fur, I'm gonna look at that deeper later on. Then we can um Remove vertexes, so remove things. This will break your model up unless you don't know what you're doing, so we're going to look into that later on. We can weld holes, target weld holes. We can chamfer things. Sorry about that. I ate a sandwich. <laughs> um, we can create, collapse, detach, attach things. Um, we can cut things. We'll look into that more deeper later on. But as you can see, um, this is the main of editing stuff in 3d max and i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial now let's have a look on the next tutorial which will be camera layout camera view layout all right peace out